Hey, it's Adam here and I'm with a wireless HDMI extender kit. That's right, this thing will project 1080p over 650 feet away. That is amazing. This box, really cool black and orange box. I want to show you what's inside. It comes with a transmitter. It comes with the receiver. Wireless between those two. Underneath this tray we have the power blocks for each of the devices. We have the USB-C cord. That's 5 volts, 2 amps. Okay, that's why it's using a USB-C. Comes with four antenna. And then it comes with infrared plus the user's manual. First thing I want to do is show you how easy it is to install the antennas. All you have to do is twist them on like this until they're tight. Very convenient. Anyone can install this. Doesn't require any technical skills. Okay, so there's a feature I want to show you about these. There are quarter 20 screws on the bottom and the side so that you can attach this to a tripod or some other tripod accessory. That's really easy, just like that. I have another one sitting here. Anyone can do this, very simple. This one's a little tall, but I'm just gonna put it there for now. Next thing would be to hook it up to power. So I ha it comes with these blocks, which is really nice. So if you have power nearby, and you usually have power nearby where the transmitter is going, sometimes it may be difficult for the receiver. So you don't, let's say you don't have power, you can just use a battery, that's right. You can bring your backup battery and plug that right in to the computer we're projecting from, or will be projecting from. Power on, nice. Okay, if you want to control it with an infrared, there are uh, an infrared remote, then you have receiver and transmitter infrareds that can get plugged in right here on this side. This has two-sided tape that you can attach it to wherever you want. The transmitter also has one. It's labeled, it's labeled infrared, so you can just plug it in like that. So now that we have power to both, I would like to demonstrate how it works. So let's hook up the HDMI output cable here to this one. Let's hook the HDMI cable up to the input of the transmitter. Okay, so let's see. It's recognizing this one on the computer monitor. I know it's hard to see it, but there's no wires connecting these two things. Ah, oh, and there it's projecting the background. That's really nice. There's low latency between the two of these. So if you're gonna use it in a conference room, let's say you're gonna use it in a house of worship, let's say you're gonna use it around your house for some reason, no problem. What it, it isn't enough low latency to run first person shooter games real time via game systems. So it isn't that low latency, but it is low latency enough that you're going to be able to connect and, and have it project almost immediately. Another cool thing is that you can run an audio feed between the two also. So I'm just going to hook up my phone between this transmitter and then I'm going to plug a set of headphones into the receiver side. I'm going to start playing instantaneous. That's so cool. I'm listening to the audio off of Spotify on my phone through the transmitter to the receiver while simultaneously they're seeing my presentation on a wireless displayed 1080p screen. That is really cool. Also, if you don't want to use, you know, an MP3 or, a, you know, 
music player, you can put a microphone in here and talk to someone who's at this receiver and let them know what's happening. That's really pretty cool. So I know you may be saying, Adam, you're projecting like two and a half feet here. Like, can't you project further? Well, let's take this downstairs to my home gym. And that'll be two floors down all the way at the other end of the house. And let's see if we can project the image there. So while I'm walking down, I just want to explain to you a couple of things. It will do full HD 1080p at 60 hertz. It'll do it at 50 hertz or 24 hertz, even 25 hertz and 30 hertz. It'll do 720p at 50 and 60 hertz. And it'll do 576i at 50 hertz or 480p at 60 hertz. Yeah, the audio is coming through the headphones. So it's actually going to both. So you'd have to mute the monitor that you have it going to if you don't want it to play out of that. You can hear it through the headphones, both of them simultaneously. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's playing the audio through the device itself. I don't even need headphones. I can use the headphones here if I want. But right now the audio is going through the television itself. That's pretty cool. It's got, it'll broadcast whatever you need. And if you want to hook up multiple receivers, so like say you've got monitors all over the place that you want, you can hook up four of these receivers with one of the transmitters. That's really cool. If you want to put different ones around the building, maybe you don't own the building, maybe you're leasing the building or you have a temporary event so you can't run wires. You can see I'm running it just off of the battery source here. I don't even need to have an extension cord. Or as soon as I'm set up, I'm ready to go. I can tear it down really easy. I can use tripods like this or it has rubber feet. They have rubber feet on the bottom of these. And it's just simple to set up. Simple.